We just recently bought this sailboat that had been sitting abandoned for 15 years and looked like complete crap. We want to fix her up and sail to Alaska and then through the Northwest Passage to Greenland. Welcome along. We have a giant boat job ahead of us. These windows might not look too bad, but if you take a closer look, you'll notice the real truth. As you can see, they are very crazed. There are these cracks all around. You know, they look pretty bad. If you have a look at this one over here, you can see as well, uh, that's like way past its prime. There are 13 windows and hatch lenses in total, and all of them need to be replaced. The windows in particular are through bolted, so the whole side panel needs to be removed in order to get access to the nuts. I began removing the interior, trying not to destroy it in the process. There we go! But I still need to take these off and then probably this insulation as well. And then we should finally have access to all of the bolts. So now I have taken out all of these intermediary pieces, or both of them. The ones that were here and here, and they were blocking our access to the bolts and the nuts. And I noticed one interesting thing. So I had to carve out these pieces of insulation to get access to the bolt heads and the nuts. And if you look at this one here, it's uh, completely shiny and it looks like new. And then when you look at these ones that were um, not covered by insulation, most of them are at least a little bit corroded. And it's the same here. It's shiny where it was covered by the insulation and here it's then corroded. And that just goes on to show how just a little bit of um, insulation can keep condensation away. And it also shows why I personally am a believer in the spray foam insulation. For removing the windows, we also got some help from my sister, who traveled all the way from Finland to San Francisco to enjoy her holidays. <laughs> Epa. <laughs> After removing the old windows and hatch lenses, it was time to clean the old silicone off. Here we completely underestimated the amount of time we'd need. Cleaning the window frames with an angle grinder was quite quick, but Sohvi ended up spending almost a week just cleaning the hatches. Getting the silicone off from the old hatch grooves proved to be an extremely tedious job. We tried everything from various solvents to silicone removers and to a wire brush and a Dremel, and nothing got the job done quickly. We took the old windows and lenses to a plastic factory where they would copy and make new ones for us. The new ones arrived after around a week's wait and we started the installation. It felt good to be putting something together instead of just taking everything apart. For material we chose to go with polycarbonate. The main contender is acrylic, which is more scratch resistant but less impact resistant. 
The new polycarbonate windows and lenses are also a little bit thicker than what the boat had previously, so the whole installation should now be pretty bomb proof. We chose to go with clear, transparent windows and lenses. Most boaters go with tinted windows, but for us transparent is ideal, as we are mostly in locations where there's not too much sunlight and we want the maximum amount of light inside. We are also not that concerned about privacy, because the places we visit are not that crowded and we aren't more to busy dogs that often. So there are a lot of bolts, we counted 79 bolts uh, per each window, 79 bolts and nuts per, per big window. We had to count them because of course we lost some, so we had to get some new ones. And uh, I think it's a little bit excessive, there's way too many. I don't know why they made it like this, but we decided to do the same with the new windows because um, otherwise we would have had to have someone weld these holes shut and we didn't want to do that either. So we are going with the same design and a lot of them are easy to access. A lot of them are easy to access, but uh, some of them are like really hard to access and in total there's around 300 and you have to go through all of them twice because when we put the windows in we just tighten them like really lightly just so the, that we get a little bit of um, silicone oozing out from from this joint here and then we wait a couple of days and then we clamp them down when the silicone has already cured so that's where we, how we get like a really good seal but we have to go through all of the bolts twice and you need two persons because one person needs to be outside to hold the hold the bolt and the other one needs to be inside to turn the nut all right let's go You know, we've had two to three people working on the windows and hatches for solid 10 days, I would say, total. Just to like dismantle the inter interior, take, take all of them out, unbolt everything, take all of them out, and then clean everything and so on. It's been way longer than we thought. And now we also have a problem with the heat because it's just so warm that the silicone is setting uh, faster than we can work on it so we also basically just have to work on one window per day and then wait for a cooler period in the morning or evening again and it does take a while especially then when we space them out like that and then we need to also wait at least a few days for all of them to dry before we really clamp them down Okay, tää ylhäällä tässä keskimmäisessä ikkunassa se on se. And yes, we are using silicone this time. Stop. Because um, that's like this is like the only place in a boat where you should use silicone. But silicone is the right thing to use, I think, for polycarbonate at least. That's what I found out in my research. So we use a product called Dow Corning 795. It's like a structural glazing silicone, whatever. And actually the silicone alone would be enough to hold the polycarbonate in. But um, we are just uh, using it as a, as a sealant.
so there were around 300 knots in total, which we tightened twice, meaning around 600 times in total, and then I applied some closed cell spray foam over the bare aluminum. The product that I'm using here is probably not ideal, but we couldn't find anything better for small areas. Meanwhile, Sohvi continued working on the hatch lenses and we were finally ready to install those as well. The lenses are only held on by the silicone, so it's really important that you apply everything carefully. So this one here is ready. We are ready to take the tape off and kind of see the result. And the, re and the reason we use the tape here instead of leaving the protective film in place is that um, the tape leaves a cleaner um, edge when you pull it off. So if you use the if you use the protective film, if you leave the film on and then try to f pull the film off. Uh, I think the result will not be as good. That's not to say that this result will be good, but well, let's see. How many hatches did we have in total? Uh, maybe six. Six hatches like this, and then we have four more windows to go. And by far the biggest amount of work has been the preparation. Just cleaning the old silicone out was like um, a lot of work. And with that one done, we had finished one of the biggest jobs on our list. I'm sorry I can't show you the full results here since everything is still a mess and we still have the protective film on most of the lenses. But it does look a lot better and it's gonna be a lot safer as well. See you all next time. Bye bye.